Follow me to Taiwan. I am Wu Yang, half Brazilian and half Taiwanese. I grew up in Brazil. And since I returned to Taiwan 12 years ago, I have fallen in love with this place, Ilha Formosa. The rich local culture and customs in Jai appeals to me so much. Follow me to Jai to take a look how fancy Jai can be. Finally met. Yeah, why are we met here? This place is very interesting. You know, this whole place is called Bu Dai. But in the old times, they used to call Bu Dai Zui, which means like the mouth of a cloth bag. It's because before the port of this place used to look like a cloth bag. So oh. they call Bu Dai and then Bu Dai Zui. This is my first time being here, but I know the famous snake is called Ote. Ote! Yeah. Oyster fritter. Yeah. I know this is really good. You can try it. Oh, it smells amazing. <laughs> oh, mm. it's really good. It's amazing because overseas, like in Brazil, we never fried oyster. Why? Because it's something so different. But oh. foreigners, people who come to Taiwan, we try the fried oyster. We find it amazing. Delicious. Thank you very much for this snack. It's like 8 in the morning. This wow. amazing breakfast. Yeah, okay. <laughs> so, wanna go? Okay. Let's go. Thank you. <laughs> Budai is a typical fishing village in Taiwan and it's rich in delicious seafood. But recently, it has developed tourism and has become a favorite destination along western trunk lines. Also, is an important harbor to a famous offshore island of Taiwan called Ponghu. And just now I found a graffiti village here. Well, I'd like to show Harriet around first. Just wow. like that. The painting is like this. <laughs> okay. So this is why I love Budai. You know, oh. everywhere you can see paintings. Look at this. This is so beautiful. It's so cute. It is, right? <laughs> and look at this. Big oyster. It's huge oyster. <laughs> yeah. it's, like, it's like dinosaur oyster, not like colon yeah. oyster. Yeah. So huge. And see here, this painting, mm -hmm. I guess, uh, shows how the fisher culture uh -huh. is so important in Budai. But between these two paintings, I found a little secret. What? What secret? Look at that. Oh, the there's the a, cup. There's a cup there. Why? Why? Maybe call the fishermen just. Stop fishing? Oh, maybe he's illegal fishing, right? Yeah. No. I think this guy, he stole her fish. <laughs> and he's running. <laughs> so I guess this is the introduction for the... Bisa Street. Bisa Street, right? Yeah. And right now we are on A. A and a, B. A and right? B. And we used to have C, D, E, F, G. Wow, so it. the whole street is <laughs> the painting. The whole street's painting. That's so cool. It's all handmade. Yeah. Because you get to get all the same sizes of stones. Black, black, white, white, black, black, white, white. Feels good, huh? Yeah, <laughs> like the massage. Yeah, like massage. <laughs> oh, <it's my> <laughs> Are you okay? <laughs> yeah. Okay, tell me which one you most like to eat. I like this. Who eats it, right? 
and fried rice. Mm -hmm. Is this fried rice? Yeah. Okay. yeah. And I love uh, oysters. Oyster. With pijo. I want beer. <laughs> beer. Number one. <laughs> really? You like I want, I want beer. beer is really good. <laughs> okay, okay. It's amazing. Tsubi Bisai Street is a spot to showcase the history of Budai from 1950 to 1970. All these creative and moody thematic 3D paintings revitalize the whole village. Okay, after understanding deeper the culture of Budai, I think it's time to start the journey with Harriet. We are going to our next stop. Since we are in Budai, of course I have to take you on a boat ride. Wow. Hey, to find one piece. I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> We're just going to a very secret place, okay? Yeah. This place is like an island, but the island only appears in the low tide. In the low tide, when the water goes down, this secret island with no people appears. <laughs> <laughs> so we are going there. Yes, we're going there now. Sounds like we will find some treasure in there. <laughs> no people, secret island, treasure. Yeah. I guess we're gonna find it. Okay. Romantic. Let's okay. go. <laughs> <laughs>可以看一下我们现在左右两边 门牌号嘛这是我们的海上黑森林 like a hammock See? Yeah The oyster is on the hammock The instructor mm -hmm. He was just explaining uh, the different ways they use to get the oyster, right? And one of them is the floating one. So they use like bamboos, zuzi, yeah. right? Zuzi, bamboo. Bamboo? Yeah, they carry, they carry the, the, the oysters under the bamboo. The bamboo. That's so cool. It's just like the forest under the sea. The Budai Sea Bus combines local ecology, culture, and leisure. The air is so rich with the scenes of the sea. And here we also can take a boat tour to understand the marine life and check the oyster farm. Well, let's appreciate the beauty of Budai and learn something new. Oyster baby. So we can go there to say hi to Oyster Baby. Oh, we arrived, right? Yeah. You go first. Why? Ladies first. <laughs> Ladies always first. <laughs> because you are handsome. I'm handsome, okay. <laughs> 
。Oh my god！ 小心来，你过来。正在动，帮他，我帮他，对，小心。不不，靠近对 ，OK OK， 那我们就跨在这个地方，好，好，再往前，那个白黑色保养可以站，可以站啊，这个对，可以站哦 ，OK， 这样比较比较不会危险，比较稳，对对对，好，就是站可以站一下哈，哎呦，吓死我了，哦，哦你哦你可以出来出来。哇、wow, ，so many！ 你看，哎、欸，这找啊，我们我们看一下哈，把它放在这个地方来。那个五羊这个给你拿，来给我。哇哦哇哦，这个 OK 了，来。哇、wow、哦，你这样拿着，好，这个给你拿。OK OK， 你看哦，嗯，上面这个有很多的 always baby。哪里？这个， oh, 这个是哦 ，one piece，two piece，three piece。Piece. Piece. I told you gonna find one piece <笑>。<笑>这个外面这个大的壳子是它的。寄生的母壳而已，让母壳来诱引它们来这边生长。哦，了解吗？所以你看这个，这个是前一代的母壳。对，然后一个母壳可以长三十到四十颗，这么多，三十到四十。现在这样的目的是要做什么？就是要让科苗游过去的时候，让它能够附着在上面。它的空间比较大，你会觉得好奇怪，为什么它长大之后会变成两个壳？对，就一个壳又怎么样？它是这样慢慢的长出来。对，它会分泌石灰质。哦，嗯。鹅啊会分泌石灰质。You knew that before? No. Never knew that before, right? I mean, this is the first time I actually understand why they become two shells, like up and down shells. Oh yeah, it's heavy. It's heavy. Look at my fingers. Yeah. I also, I don't have blood flow anymore. I want to try. You want to try it? Yeah. Oh, you want to get grab everything? Yeah, it's okay. No, it's actually it's heavy because they're all baby. It's not big, right? So, 老板，如果长大，这样子一床大概要多重？如果长大不是这样子的，如果长大是一条一条，一条一条，一条一条，加加大概二十 kilo。你看，没想到哎 ，one string can go to twenty kilos. So now I can carry because they are baby. Yeah. So imagine two strings. It's you. Yeah. Right in front of me. Farming oysters actually benefits the marine ecosystem. You know, seawater is rich in plankton, which make oysters plump. And then, plump oysters, they attract more and more kinds of fish. That is how the ecosystem works, and how the oyster farms brings benefits to Budai. We're almost here! Yeah! <laughs> Take off. You can? You can. Okay, okay. Take this off. Let's go! Hey! Oh! This is so comfortable. Wow! It feels so good. Oh! Did you feel it? The sand is like, like so fluffy. Like, yeah. Like cake. Like cake. Oh, cake island. This is our one piece. Yeah, I want to turn. To Take off your shoes. Yeah. Me too. I want to try this. Feels thing. like foot massage. Oh, oh my god. Oh, oh, oh. Let's go back there. Oh, see? Oh, oh, oh. oh. It starts to get soft and more soft. Oh, more oh, tender. Oh. Hey, this feels like foot massage. Just like the cake, like the mousse. It really, it feels like we're stepping on a cake. Or like the cream. Yeah, it's like a chantilly cream. This whole place is called Hao Mei Li Shore. This is an inhabited island that can only be reached at low tide, so it's not always accessible. And the sand, it's so soft, soft as a sponge cake. So it's also called sponge cake sand. And yes, it's really comfortable to step on it. <laughs> Moose Island. Moose I, Island? Yeah, it's just like cream like the moose. Oh, true. I want to jump. Okay, one, two, three, jump! <laughs> <laughs> it's so deep, actually. Yeah. <laughs> our first step. We leave our mark <laughs> on the island. One, two, three! three. <laughs> You know where we are? <laughs> 水平相，萍水相逢。萍水相逢。<laughs> this is all trash. But you know what is fun about Budai, especially in this place, because they wanted to educate people about the trash on the oceans, right? Because right now we humans 
we throw so much glass, too much bottle, too much plastic on the ocean. So they gather these bottles and this wood and they create like a piece of art. So people can understand that we have to be recycled, you know, we have to protect our planet. So this is our trash and becomes like a piece of art in the, in the island. I think it's so cute because the Ping Shui Xiang Feng is mean like we meet today. Oh, so it's like destiny. It's just like the people and people and in the world and we met. Or oh, keep meeting each other. Yeah. Oh, okay. So they choose this. Oh, so it's like our story today. Yeah. Like two people meet in Ping Dai. Yeah,我给你拍一个螃蟹哦。这是螃蟹。对对对。那里有螃蟹。这么小啊。哦，好小啊。哇塞。太多了吧。对，这是河螃蟹。Be careful. Yeah,是螃蟹。你看，你看，你看，你看，你看，你看，你看，你看，你看，你看，你看，你看，你看，你看，你看，你看，你看，你看，你看，你看，你看，你看，你看，你看，你看，你看，你看，你看，你看，你
这个地方，嗯，它才会往下，才会有声音，它才会往下去、嗯、往下深的地方挖、哦、这样子。好，哦、oh, ，Are you a cow yao person? <笑> you have to cow yao, cow yao. 对 ，Use your hip. 这样对吗？哎，这边再往老板好像站高一点点，站高一点点，站高拿这边手。这样，手往下压，压压压这个，然后往这个往下压，主要的是让这个往下。哦，那个倒片。对，往下。倒片。对，你再下来一点点，阿冷稍微对，你要转那个角度，对啊，因为你都是在表面而已嘛。有吗？要下去，要下去，对。不是，不是，我要站上去。这样，这样，这样，这样。太重了啦，老板。这样子吧。对，但没有，不用了，这样没有。还没有吗？哎、欸，你看到都在表面而已啊。啊，怎么办？因为我们要进去，在在大概下面大概三公分左右。啊、这么深哦！可以五两五两，试试看，试试看。哦，压力好大。It's your turn. My pressure so high now. 这样子吗？对，站直，然后这个往下压。哦、oh, ，我再压，往下压。OK， 好，来，往下。那这边要往下下去。OK， 好，这样子，稍微下去一点。好，对，对，对，对，对。哦，慢慢慢慢的 ，slow slow， 慢慢的，对。其实很痛。其实很痛。哎哎哎，有感觉吗？有有跟在那边。哎哎哎哎，你超大哥的。超大，蛤蟆。哇，好吃哎！这个这个就很棒。It's a big one. This is our lunch. 我刚刚刚在来之前，我有玩到。哦。So many. 对，有没有很大？你放在你的手上好了。你手好小哦。超大，超多的。Wow, hammer! Not a single person lives in this island, but many creatures do, and most of them are not even seen in the cities. If you're lucky enough, you may even encounter a horseshoe crab. They're called living fossils, and through the explanation of the tour guide, tourists like us can learn about ecology and environmental protection. This is definitely a very meaningful journey. And since we are here in Jai, we better not miss out the opportunity to visit a 200 years old temple. It's called Xingang Fountain Temple. To pray that our journey goes smoothly. Wow! Wow! The sun is so big. Yeah. <laughs> How do you say to the Mazu? I ask for. A very peaceful day, so we can have a very nice work today. Me too. You too. And just good, healthy, and healthy to everybody. Yeah, and thank you the Mazu to protect oh, Taiwan. That's great. Yeah. <laughs> Mazu is like the protector of the seas. Yeah. Right? And this one is a very huge temple, mm. the Mazu Temple, because this is like the connection between the Taja and the. Taizong, uh -huh. right? In there, it take like nine days with a lot of people to do the, how you call the Rao Jing. Rao Jing. It's called mm. the Mazu pilgrimage. Mm. So this is the final station? Yes. Yeah. They come here and they go back. I saw on the TV, it's like a lot of people. Sounds really nice. Like the Brazilian carnival. <laughs> Even though this temple is so important for the Rao Jing, mm. you see today it's quite empty. But I think right now it's not the season. Yeah, that's why not many people. Mm, so where are we going? To another place. A very fun one. You're gonna like it. Ready? Ready? Okay, go. Let's go. Of Tai Chi. <laughs> Is it pretty? Yeah. Is it pretty, right? You Tai Chi, ma? No. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe my father. You, my you father seem like can you're a kitty mosquito. Yeah. Kitty mosquito. Tai Chi, Tai Chi Kung Fu. Every time we see this logo, uh -huh. it's like the Yin Yang, right? Right. We just remember the Tai Chi movies. Yeah. Yes. So this place is really nice. It's called Xingang Artistic Scene Cultural Garden. 
Oh. Now, how, how do I remember the name? How? Because it's written there. So <laughs> I read everything. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> so, it's a place where uh, people can come here and they can learn how to DIY. Just DIY. do it yourself. Oh. How to make the incense. I really like Bye Bye because uh, I think it makes a wish, uh, make the people healthy and uh, family, friends. So I just make a wish. That's really good. Yeah, That's really I just good. follow my family. Mm -hmm. Bye Bye, I, I come with oh, them. It's more like a cultural thing. Mm -hmm. It's like it's like same for me because my father is Taiwanese, right? Mm -hmm. I'm half Brazilian. Huh. So even though I do not understand a lot about Bye Bye, we, we just, just follow. follow yeah. It becomes like a part of us. Yeah. Nice. So I guess we have maybe the chance to find a teacher here that can you, teach us yeah. how to do it. Incense are like bridges that connect humans and the gods. And those curly incenses rises up to the heavens, bringing believers' wishes to the gods. Nowadays, incense is mostly made by machines. So it's very rare to see a handmade incense. This is smell oh, so good. It's like a smell. So, even cooking, mm. if there is so much like powder, we keep mm. sneezing. Achoo, achoo. Mm. We don't feel like that here. Yeah, because it's all natural. Yeah. We're going to look at it again. Next time, it's going to be hot. OK. Open it? Oh, first put water. Put water. Really put water. Put water. And then... Open it. Open it. Wow. Wow, how beautiful. It's like a sand. Yes. And then turn it around. Wow, it's so beautiful. 敲两下 hey, so fast Look at his hands oh. It's like he, he keeps spinning here See? Yeah. I cannot do that It's like the magic Wow Okay, now is the hard part. Right? Now that is hard. 为什么会连在一起 
。你你这三开好像留个好多好多牙齿哦。这样，然后再把它撑开。要补对不对？对对，要补。好，这样。负责那个我们的城乡很脏，好香哦，才不会嘞。这样，然后等一下，哎，错边了，错边了，这样，这样，这样。City is not easy。可以吗？还不行。我觉得你的手比较。Your hands。粘住了吗 ？Your hands look better。粘住了。粘住了吗？这边粘住。这是，这都粘住了啊。那怎么办啊？求求！好难哦！好难！连住了，连住了！哎呀，哎呀，我真的很难呢，超难。看起来比较简单，我让我做一只。It's very, very difficult to make even a single stick of incense. After all, this is a very legendary craft in the Chinese culture. For me, it is a pleasure to see the master skill in action. And I think only a few incense craftsmen are left in the world. So I'm very glad that Taiwan is still striving to preserve such a cultural treasure. Actually, uh, to do the incense, I did this before. But it's very, very hard because I tried so many times. It doesn't matter how much, how hard I tried, something goes wrong. Maybe it's the water, maybe it, it breaks. You know, it's not easy. But I think it's still very important because it's a part of the culture, right? Mm. If you make the incense, use the machine to do all the job, you lose a part of the the, the human, the handmade. the handmade art, right? Yeah. You can try. Uh, again, <laughs> again. Okay. So. So you are Juan? better, better than me. Oh, maybe not. Oh, well, it sounds right. Tabdo. <laughs> and then. 差不多吗？差不多。好，那现在我先转一圈。哦。我转一圈就。好，赶快呼呼，赶快上魂，赶快上魂啊！可以了，可以了。有吗？你有比较比我厉害吗？我好像没有比你厉害。师傅。师傅，你觉得他可以吗？要求救了。要求救，要求救。还是我要求救的。师傅说你不行。你看你粘人家。你看你粘住，你粘住。两条而已啊。没有，这些都粘住。Six, 这些都粘住。Four, 没有，这些都粘住，粘住。Maybe eight。师傅说你不行。Sixteen, I guess. Everything is a failure. We are the same.、Oh. I'm better than you. You are. Wow. How is the how how he can do? See. Oh. The, the big fan. Yeah, he, he makes like a flower. Yeah. It's a bosun. Why? The because head. Look, look. because Sifu do it for, for, uh, 40, 40 years. years. And we do for four minutes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> But experience is very important. My stick of incense is made of bamboo, and during the process, it has to be dipped in the water and sprinkled with incense powder continuously, and usually takes nine procedures to complete it. It's really, really difficult for us to do the original one. But fortunately, there is a do-it-yourself course to make mini incense, small ones, and it's guaranteed to be successful. Hello， 老师你好，你好，你好，你好。我们其实真的可以学到这么做香，对，对不对？是，哎，就是跟我们的香的做法是一样的。Okay, you're ready to do your own incense. Yeah, our own version. Okay. 这个是香脚，就是竹子，然后它就是要浸水，浸水之后要搓年粉。我们先弄一下我们的年粉，先把它铺在前面，哈。这样够吗？哦，这样太多，哦，太多，太多，对，秀气一点，对对对对。那我们这个的话，就是香脚浸水，浸水就是差不多十，呃，二十秒，二十秒，对。哦，其实它的 the water level is already on the red mark。对啊。然后我们就把它滚动，然后用指腹的部分，就是我们的这这边哈，然后把它卷动，这样这样子，这样，对对对对对，是的。这样子哦
，哎，好像在里面水饺。对，对，做面皮。对，老师，我的还行吗？你的比较 OK 一点。什么？是的。Why? 等一下我们要见真章，是不是真的？手做。对。<笑>不行，我要冲来。好，下一个步骤我们就是要用我们的茶粉。哦。有没有一个茶叶的味道 ？OK， but I guess comparing the、嗯、this one with the other one, I think this one is actually a little bit more easier. But you need to be patient. Yeah, but we can do one by one. Yeah. The other one, if we do one by one, it's going to take the whole life <laughs> just to finish one. <laughs> yeah, but here, here, actually, we can take our time slowly. Yeah. Do you think the foreigner will like do this? Yeah, sure. Yeah. I guess most of the foreigners they really like to do DIY stuff. Wow. We have a lot of like workshops for、mm. handcraft art,、mm. and we like to do everything using our own hands. I、mm. guess very similar to what you like, right? Yeah. Teacher, look. We've already done a lot. Like this. 这些好厉害哦，瘦的，是可以直接点吗？不可以，你们要回去等，哦、就是跟我们师傅在晒香一样，就是晒到太阳。然后我这边刚好有之前做的，那我们来点点看那个味道好吗？哦，好哦，好。这个是有茶粉跟面粉都有的，对，就跟我们一模一样。对，晒干以后，差不多十天之后，然后再点。哦，有闻到茶叶的味道吗 ？It smells like the tea. 也有一点点那个茶粉 ，smells really good. Yeah. Now imagine we can go back to our own home and light it up the incense we 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 made ourselves. So where do you want to light it up your incense? Maybe in the living room. Living room? Ah. Okay. I want to light it up in my room before I sleep. Wow. 初めまして。私は青谷です、はい。私はレンです。<笑>ああ、気持ち気持ち。わざわざ。My first time to wear the yukata. Really? Ah,、uh. oh, yukata. This is called kimono, right? Yukata, summer suit, 浴衣。Oh, winter is kimono. Yeah. Summer is yukata. Yeah. Oh, really? Oh, that's cool. It's my first time using yukata. Yeah. It's very How do I say? I can feel the wind between my legs. <laughs> See, so it's my first time using yukata,、mm. and feels really comfortable. What about you?、Uh, I think I can breathe. Oh, you can breathe. <laughs> it's a little bit tight, right?、Oh. Okay, but I realized something really、um, unique. We are using very Japanese style kind of dress, right?、Mm -hmm. But I realized something really. Interesting, like we are using Japanese, but they are using like Chinese chi pao. Uh, this is 改良式的旗袍。改良式的旗袍。对，那我们的话就是这一件是讲做台湾的文化传承的部分。那在这个百年的氛围里面呢，所以这个呃比较应景的呃 yukata 就给你们体验。哦 ，yukata。对对对。我们是旗袍，因为想要呈现台湾更多层次的文化。很棒。对。Why you choose this color? Red one. Yeah. Because it's like the spring and flower and blossom. 
Oh, you like yeah. spring flowering yeah. topic. I choose this one because it reminds my mother. Why? Because she's dragon. That's so long. So long, that? Yeah. Oh. So I saw this one said the dragon. Okay, my mom <laughs> is going to wear this. So I think you still have a little more time to finish everything, right? Yeah. It's going to take a round. Okay. I'm going to take a look around and you, when you're ready, you just try to find me. Okay, okay. okay I'm going to hide. <laughs> Wait for you. Hi, Ray. I'm ready. Wow, so cute. <laughs> hey, you have the full set. You have a handbag. Yeah. Oh, good. I want to take picture here. Oh, because I know why you want to. Okay, yeah, okay, because okay. this area is the Japanese building and oh. uh, in a long time ago, Japanese come here to work and they live here. Also, this used to be a real Japanese place. Mm, yes. Oh, that's why it long looks so ago. real. Actually, Japan and Brazil have a long time history, oh. over a hundred years. Mm. Because Brazil used to invite Japanese people to go to Brazil and they give them land to farm. Oh. Yeah, so we have a lot of Japanese people live in Brazil. So have a Japanese building in Brazil? We have a Japan town oh. in Sao Paulo. And does not look like this, but they have a lot of Japanese more uh, modern mm. buildings. This is very old. Yeah. We have like a more newer Japanese buildings. Yeah, so. It's really cool. Okay, ready? Ready! <laughs> I love your hair. Really? So cute. So kawaii. During the Japanese colonial era, Hinokicho served as an official dormitory for the Alisan forest industry and has most of the building materials were the Alisan cypress. The complex resembles a cypress village, hence the name Hinokicho. And you can see here are 29 historical buildings preserved in the area. And this Hinoki village is one of the most significant historical sites in the whole Jai. Herod, wait for me! What? Wait, wait! I brought you something. Since we are in Jai, oh, I have to make you eat Jai famous roaster oh. rice. Oh, this is so good. Jiro fan. Every, not Jiro fan. This is like turkey. Turkey. Fan. Okay, I try. Every time I come here, I have to try this again. Oh, it's good. That's mm, huh? so nice. juicy. Mm, very nice. Yeah, so sorry for making you wait because I was there like trying to find this for you. I ordered some flour tea. Thank you very much. Mm. Flour tea? Yeah. And a little bit of biscuit, huh? Mm. Thank you. So, I have one question for you. Mm -hmm. Okay. When I was on the line ordering mm. the roaster rice, mm. I was looking at your social media mm -hmm. and I see that you really like to wear some very old clothes. Is that how you wear on the streets? No, just my acting job. Oh, that's... Oh, okay. I thought you wear that on the streets <laughs> every day. Because I really like the um, old stuff. Okay. Yeah, and the history. And uh, I always acting like 1950, the character. Oh, you mean in the, in the 50s? Yeah, in the 50s. Oh. So you actually really like like old stuff, mm -hmm. like vintage, mm -hmm. like food, vintage. Mm. And when you do acting, the topic of your, your drama is also Fubu, mm -hmm. vintage. So the building and the furniture and the dress is all the old stuff. Oh, and mm -hmm. you like that? Yeah. So you like here as well, right? Mm -hmm. So cool this place. But I see something very interesting about this place. Like, you told me that uh, here, mm -hmm. uh, you should be a very traditional Japanese type of village. Yeah. It's more city, right? Mm. And outside, we see all the Japanese buildings and inside a lot of Japanese gardens. Mm. But this place will have so much like Western yeah. style. Mm -hmm. Because the Mingzhi Weixing. Ming oh, I guess I heard about that. Mm. Mingzhi Weixing is the Meiji Restoration, right? Mm -hmm. I remember I read before, like in the Meiji Restoration, it was a time when Taiwan was really open-minded for a foreigner culture. Is that right? Mm -hmm. It's cool. Very cool. So let's, let's start eating. Okay. Let's 
This Kiss. is Cheers Tea. Japanese style. Yeah. Because today we wait the oyster, mm -hmm. right? We have to do the incense. Mm -hmm. You know, we have the Japanese village. Which one you really enjoy the most? Maybe the oyster. The oyster? When I see the oyster, I think they are so cute. So cute? Because yeah, they are oh, so. The baby ones. Yeah, the baby ones, and uh, they just cover by the big one. Okay. Yeah. And I think it's magical. And then when I touch the sea and touch the sand, mm. yeah, it feels good. I never been there. No people, just us. Yes. And when I got there, I just jump up the boat and run, like run to the earth. Did run to the earth, right? Yeah, because my foot just touch the sand and it's warm and it's soft like the mousse. So soft like mousse. And the little crab. Oh, the crabs. Like the blueberries. Yeah. They just run away and disappear. <laughs> but suddenly, when you stop, they come back to life. Yeah. And when we go, went to the incense, mm -hmm. you remember? You were so into it. Yeah. Like, why did you like to do that so much? Um, it's the first time, right? Yes, yeah. first time. But I really like to handmade. Okay. So when I just get holiday i will go to the um, handmade class oh, like, you, you, like the clay oh, okay. or the painting or the something wood or anything we did it hmm? but we failed yeah i guess we have to go back again it's the and try again tradition way yeah, it's to a make tradition the way. incense so i just imagine it's important to, to yeah. learn how to do that yeah if everything leaves to the machine mm -hmm. who else is going to learn the traditional way mm -hmm. That's very nice. About the whole day, I think it's a really nice way for foreigners to know more about Taiwan. Because there is a big problem. Usually when we foreigners come to Taiwan and we get like maybe a travel guide, mm -hmm. right? The travel guide just tell us to go to Tansui, right? Yeah. Go for mm -hmm. Chinenguan, Taipei 101. It's always the same place. But we foreigners, we actually want to learn and see Taiwan through Taiwanese eyes. But you see today, our trip from the oyster to the incense to this place, even you, mm. never been there before, right? Never been the oyster, baby. <laughs> That's what we want. We want to see Taiwan like very local kind mm. of tourism. That's very important. So we can help the locals and we can learn more about Taiwan. So if my foreign friends, they want to know more about Taiwan, I'm going to tell them to watch. Follow me to Taiwan! Taiwan.